Hello and welcome to TDS. My name is Mr. Bright and I'll be your instructor for this project. Today, we will build an awesome machine learning project regarding breast cancer detection. We will be training on incredible machine learning algorithms such as the K-nearest neighbor and the support vector machine. And I'll explain why we are using these algorithms for this particular problem. And then after that, we will be using our model to predict whether a cell is malignant, that is cancerous or benign that is healthy or not cancerous. We will be using a dataset from the UCI machine learning repository, which consists of about 699 rows with 11 different columns or attributes. This dataset is also available on Cargo. In this project, I will explain to you step by step what each line of code is doing and why we are doing that. At the end of the project, we will see something like this. You start by importing the various libraries necessary and then load our data set. Then we will also do some data pre-processing and then moving on, we will do some exploratory data analysis to get familiarity with our data with some data visualization in the form of a histogram, some uh, box plot, and then uh, we also see the correlation between each attribute with some heat maps and pair plots. Then finally, we will start to build our model. So as I said, we're going to build our model on two main algorithms, which is the K-nearest neighbor and the support vector machine. After building our model, we'll use it to make some predictions. So if you can see over here, we are predicting two or four, where two represent benign and then four for malignant. After making the prediction, we also check the score of our prediction or our, of our model. If you can see here, the K-nearest neighbor is making 97% whilst um, the support vector machine is making 98%. After that, we also compare the various predictions of the various algorithms. Then moving on further, we will build a classification report for each of these algorithms. Then we also print out the confusion matrix to know whether uh, to know how many benign we were able to predict the right as benign and how many um, we were able to wrongly classify and also do the same thing for malignant for each of the algorithms that we have built that is the support vector machine and then the um, k nearest neighbor all right so as you can see we have i mean this is an incredible project and i'll be glad to take you through so let's get started